Hey everyone, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, we're gonna check out some of the widgets offered by Power.io. They're a great platform with a robust application library that you can embed right into your Show It site. So for this example, we're going to look at creating a payment button through PayPal. So I'm gonna add that to my package canvas here so that my clients can book this package directly on my site. You'll need to ensure that you've created a Power account. Once you've done that, you can simply search for the app that you want, like PayPal button here and we'll choose Get App. Now here it's loaded me up into the Button Builder. You can see that I can choose different types of button, Buy Now, Donate, Subscription, and now that I've chosen the Buy Now button, I'm gonna jump over to Settings here. So from here, you'll wanna make sure to connect your payment account, like PayPal, Stripe, or this offline payment option. You can also select an email to send payment notifications to. They also have an autoresponder option to send after a successful payment. And lastly, you can choose where to redirect your buyer after their payment. The next option here is product. Here is where you can dial in the functionality and settings of your button. I can choose a different icon instead of the PayPal icon if I want here. I can then put my product name here, choose my purchase options, enter my cost, choose the currency, set the default quantity, and then I have some different options here, product options, tax, shipping, and discount code options. You can dial all of those in how you see fit and then hop on over to the design tab here. From here, you can dial in the button design. You can choose one of their prefabricated themes here if one of them works well for you, or you can dial in that design custom via these options here. We'll choose the purple gradient. Once you have your button all dialed in exactly how you want, you'll click this publish option. Now in your installation options, you can choose show it as the platform, which I've already done here. You can also just choose the embed with code option if you prefer. Copy that code right out of this box. Then hop over to show it. Hover over the bottom middle icon with the canvas selected you wanna add the button to, which in this case is my service one canvas. I'll hover over the middle icon and choose the embed code option. Then I'll jump to the embed info tab, click the custom code box and paste in my code. There my button loads up inside this widget. I can resize it and place it accordingly. We'll rearrange the canvas to fit just a little bit better here. There we go. Now I've got my buy now button. So I can go ahead and publish with my new button and take a look. And there's my new buy now button. You still see this edit payment option, but it says, as you can see here, that only you can see this. If I were to preview my site in an incognito window, then I would essentially be viewing as a visitor and I won't be able to see that edit option. You see it displays normally here. One pro tip, if you don't like any of the button styles and want to use a button you've created and show it, you can create the button and then place this buy now button over top of it, come to the effects here and lower the opacity to 0%. That will render the button invisible, but since it's sitting on top of the button design behind this element, it will still be the click if someone clicks on that button. Or if you like the design you've created in power, you can leave it at 100% to show that button. And that's it. You can quickly and easily integrate PayPal payment buttons using this widget from power.io. I hope this has helped you as you continue to build your new site. Until next time, happy designing.